Hi folks, welcome to the Horde. So it's been a busy day of deliveries here. So it's uh, 345, 22.9 degrees Celsius, 60% humidity. Yeah, we're supposed to get some rain blowing in. Um, tomorrow, particularly tomorrow night into Wednesday. My batteries aren't fully charged. 928 Monday, 73.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So, I talked about the ceiling on this place and what I plan to do with it. I found some insulating foil. So I ordered it and they sent me the wrong stuff. So I called them up and they argued with me. And this strikes me as a two-man operation. Guy and his son, maybe. I don't know eBay, you know, the gig. So, I requested non-perforated foil. This stuff is 52 inches long, and this is 250 feet of it, I think 225, whatever. Whatever the numbers are to come out to a thousand square feet. So I have more than enough, but the stuff is perforated. And the plan is to basically, with um, 52 inches, my ceiling joists or rafters or, I don't know, prefabbed, whatever are 24 inches apart so with 50, 51 inches I guess with 51 inches that means I can wrap the foil around that one go over that one and just staple it and wrap it again and then once again um, staple and tape you know staple and on down um, make it easy to see all around the edge and all. But given that it's perforated, I'm like, this ain't going to work for me. And they argued with me, and I said, listen, here's my problem with the perforated stuff. I fire up my infrared heater, whether it's electric infrared or propane infrared, whatever it is, and eventually the objects in here get warm, which makes hot air rise. And all the hot air will be along the ceiling. Without perforations, the hot air, air will stay on the ceiling. The um, reflective stuff, any infrared energy will bounce right off of that and come, come back down. So, um, but back to the perforation or lack of a vapor barrier up against the ceiling. What will happen is, as I'm generating this heat, without a vapor barrier, it'll go right through and on up and just, you know, up through. Um, I have that uh, venter ridge in the center, and I have the um, edge over there. I don't know. You guys can kind of see some light percolating in. Um, the sides are all open. I have vented soffit. So, with the perforated ceiling, the heat will just rise up against the ceiling, flow right through it, and keep going upward. And given that hair is, air is going up, and I'm losing air, what's going to come in? All the nice cold air from underneath the garage doors. And what's on the floor? My feet. Getting frigid cold, I mean, it's bad enough that the floor has a tendency to be, depends if you're kind of in the center, it's probably somewhere around 35, 40 degrees. If you're closer to the doors, it's probably whatever temperature it is outside, right? Um, or you're along the wall, it's whatever temperature it is outside. You don't pick up as much, you lose, you lose the heat basically to outside where if you're in the center here it's more like 
ground temperature. This garage also, um, when I leveled it out, most of it, a lot of it is on um, ledge. I have a lot of ledge here. Ledge is basically rock with very little soil on it, big rock with very little soil. Um, I obviously put gravel down and then a plastic barrier so that um, it could drain properly, right? One doesn't need puddles to freeze and pop the foundation around, especially with ledge. But um, where it's not up right on ledge, I, uh, I put gravel so it drains down and basically goes out that way, out that corner. Um, so after arguing with them for a while, I finished my end of the conversation with, told the guy, I said, listen here, tell you what, I'll use your perforated stuff, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to call you up in January, and I'm going to yell at you, and you're going to send me a roll for free. And he's like, no, nah, I'll just replace it. Well, when he told me that, my next comment was, you know the crap, the perforated crap wasn't going to work for my application? Why were you arguing with me? Just because you were trying to save the postage? So, anyhow, I yelled at him. So, that's the plan. Um, I not only have um, the um, roll of shiny stuff, well, a new roll of shiny stuff is coming, a new roll of... Uh, of foil um, is coming. Um, they're just going to give me a, uh, a sheet for return. Um, so not only is that coming, but the uh, the the um, I already got the tape. So I'm going to ba basically I'm going to seal the ceiling. The ceiling is going to be one reflective vapor barrier. Um, from a fire point of view, this stuff is very well rated. Basically, it doesn't burn. If you hit it with direct heat, it'll melt. But um, it does not sustain a flame. So not that, you know, if this crap goes up in flames, that it's going to be a fire stop. But um, it'll, it'll, probably, it'll probably help. Um, depending on how much I like the way the ceiling works, um, I'll, I, I might use the perforated stuff on the walls, quite honestly, um, and see if, if that also helps. Um, I'm a little less thrilled about putting the shiny stuff on the, on the walls, though, because it'll make this place look like a giant fuzzy mirror, but we'll see. Um, I'm just doing the ceiling this year. I got to start and stop somewhere and that's what's going on for this year um so i'm pleased that i moved forward on it the roll was like 130 something with shipping for a thousand square feet this place is 625 but for a thousand square feet it's um it's going to be I think 150, 158 bucks, something like that. Then with the tape, was another 30 something. Call it 200 bucks to basically get a reflective ceiling. We'll see how well it works. If it doesn't work, oops. Then probably what I'll do is I'll put that uh, inch of reflected foam over the top of it. So see if that works. But I'm I'm pretty sure this will work for me. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching and commenting and subscribing. Hopefully your eBay deals go better than my eBay deals. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and once again, get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now.